Hi guys, I've got a request to make an elastic powered car that goes round in a complete circle. So I'm going to modify one of my good old fashioned rubber band powered cars so that it goes round in a circle. To get the steering right I'm going to replace the front axle which is currently a barbecue skewer through a drinking straw with an old uh, wire coat hanger which I'll bend so we get the steering angle. I'll, be I'll bend it in sort of a zigzag shape. So I'll show you that in a minute. And for the back axle, because it's going to be going round in a circle, the inside wheel has to turn at a different rate to the outside wheel and the easy way to do that will be to make one of them freewheeling so that we only have one wheel being driven by the rubber band. I'm not quite sure which would be the best one to do, whether the inside or the outside would be best. So I think I'll, I'll make the inside one freewheeling and leave the outside one as the driven wheel. And see how that goes. So to do that I'm going to have to modify the inside one so it actually spins free on the axle. Quick close-up of the front axle. So we've got the bent um, coat hanger. Got a piece of insulation off some power cable there. A plastic bead. Then the bottle top that's the hub on the CD. Same on the other side, bottle top, plastic bead and a piece of insulation. So that means that can spin freely on the axle. And as I said, I bent it in a zigzag shape. So if I can find what I've done with the body, oh, there it is down there in the bin. It'll sit, there we go, on the front there so that we've got the wheels turned. Actually they'll probably turn the other way because I prefer to go in the opposite direction. That's probably out of focus as well now, isn't it? But I'll just hot glue that across the cardboard chassis. There we are, all up together. We're in my conservatory to give it a test run. So this wheel is fixed onto the axle. This wheel, free wheels, and the front wheels, free wheel. I've got a very lightweight rubber band motor because I don't want too much power. Uh, there was no specification as to what size circle this was supposed to turn. So we'll just let it do what it wants to do. But I could adjust it by just bending these at a different angle. That looks like it did the job. Didn't say how many circles it had to do, and it didn't say what diameter. But that just did two circles. Job done.